What's up, everybody? I made this app, Twitch to DCS, about seven years ago, and I'm just now getting around to making a video on how to install it. I get questions about this all the time, and usually I end up just walking the person through, but uh, come to my attention that I probably should just make this video. So here it is. So the first thing you're going to do is go to GitHub, and you're going to look for Twitch to DCS. Um, You'll find that here. The installation is pretty easy, but we're going to go through it anyway because some people do have trouble. So uh, installation instructions are down here. But the first thing you're going to do is go to the releases tab over here and you're going to go ahead and come down and download the zip to the latest version of the app. So we'll go ahead and do that. I actually already have it here. Uh, so you, after it's downloaded, you're going to go ahead and open it. And the installation from this point is fairly easy. You're going to go and find your saved games folder. So if we open up another browser here, you go to your C drive, you're going to go to your user folder, you're going to find your user, and you're going to find saved games. Here you will have a few different things. Typically, if you're running the open beta version of DCS, you're going to find uh, DCS.openBeta. If you are on stable, it's going to just say DCS. You're going to go to that folder. And then from here, you're literally going to copy all of the contents of Twitch to DCS zip over to save games. And this is going to ask me to replace because I've already installed it once, but we're going to go ahead and do that. That would be the same thing if you were updating it anyway. And now you're going to go ahead and launch DCS. Now, while DCS is launching, you can go to this twitchapps.com page. And when we go here, uh, it's going to have you connect to your account. So you're going to click connect. It's probably going to ask you to authorize. I've already done that. Um, so it's going to skip that screen for me. And right here, which you'll see blurred out, is my OAuth key. You're going to go ahead and select the whole thing, all of it, not just the part past OAuth. You're going to include the entire thing, click the entire line, copy it, and then when DCS opens, we're going to go ahead and paste that in to the config for Twitch to DCS. Okay, so here we are with uh, DCS open. We're going to go ahead and go to the options tab up here, then special, and we're going to scroll down to Twitch to DCS. Now here you will need to enter in a couple fields. One is your Twitch channel name. So mine is jabbers underscore. And then that OAuth key, the entire thing again, it's got to include the OAuth uh, colon in the beginning. We're going to go ahead and just paste that in here. Okay. Now you're going to see an error message. This is totally normal. Uh, this is because I'm lazy as a developer and you're going to have to restart DCS anyway. So I don't really care about trying to track down why this was blowing up. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and click the X on the air and then go ahead, click OK. And we're going to exit and we're going to start DCS again. Okay. With DCS open, Everything should be working. Uh, you can go ahead and test it by typing into your actual Twitch chat. I'll go ahead and do that now. So if I type testing one, two, three, and there we go. You don't see the message because of the white background, but if I click this, you will see I have testing one, two, three. So everything's hooked up, ready to go. Uh, a couple little other details is if you go back to the special tab in options and you go to Twitch DCS, I'll just quickly go over these. So lock, uh, overlay position. If you uncheck it, you can actually move this around to wherever you want. Okay. I usually like it in the top left and then you can click lock and that allows you to click through it. So if you're, if it's in the way of something, let's say you have a switch or something and you click, it won't interact. Whereas if you have this unlocked and you click, it's going to see how it grabs that window and allows me to interact with it. We don't want that. So we go ahead and lock it. The show, uh, join left messages. Basically, when you have a viewer that joins your channel and they get into chat after a few seconds, sometimes minutes, uh, I can show a message in Twitch to G DCS that that person has joined. Um, it's not a feature you typically see on Twitch, but it's something that I figured out how to do uh, based on how the back end works for Twitch chat, which is just IRC. Um, and so I can show you when people leave and, and join. I turn it off because otherwise it would just be too many messages. Um, but you know, if you're a first time streamer, you have a, a small number of people, really small number of people, cause it can get really confusing. Um, and you want to see when people join so you can interact with them. That's a really cool thing. 
And then uh, debug mode, that's for me. And if you ever need to turn it off, you can enable disable it, but this requires a restart. Uh, so if you could just say, you just uncheck it, restart, and then you won't have this window here. And then if you want it again, you have to come back, check it and restart. Just that way you don't have to actually remove the mod. And the last thing is this uh, hide show hotkey. So right now if I hold control and shift and hit the period button, it goes away. Um, that's kind of the same functionality you get with the multiplayer chat window in uh, multiplayer. So that's it. That's everything. Hopefully this helps you if you were confused. And uh, thanks for watching.